What's going on, guys? This Gorlock here, bringing you School for Warlords, episode five. This lesson is on initiation. So if you've watched my previous videos, you now know how to parry, how to block, how to headbutt combo, and how to put things together using your basic attacks, and basically how to deal damage as a warlord at a steady rate. Um, in this video, I want to show you guys how to initiate your opponent, like how to... Um, at the start of a match, how to how to begin the fight. Now, it does depend from opponent to opponent, just because some people have diff like different play styles. A lot of people, you know, play erratically. Some people are, aren't very good at the game. Some people are highly skilled. And it all matters on reading your opponent. Now, one thing to note, though, about the, uh, the Warlord is you do have a few means of approaching your opponent. You can just walk right up to them, begin combat... All chivalry or all chivalry like, you know, like knights back then. Um, the other options are the head splitter leap and head splitter leap combo, along with the crashing charge and head splitter leap not in guard. And of course, the last choice, if you don't want to do any of that, is wait for your opponent to come to you, which can sometimes be beneficial. But what I'm going to cover in this video are the charges and the head splitter leaps. So this is a low level bot, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the charge. That's when you run in, you click down the left stick and you hold X and you throw your opponent. Now this can be easily dodged by your enemy if they can see it coming. So usually if you're on a bridge or their backs to a wall, something like that, they might be anticipating it. And this is how it comes down to reading your opponent. You need to see what class are they playing. Are they playing a quick assassin class and they can jump out of the way? Then it's probably better, better safe than sorry and not using the charge. Um, or are they using, um, you know, the Conqueror, another a fellow Warlord, things like that, right? You just gotta read into it. Heavy classes, I would say, go for it if you wanna charge and knock them maybe depending on where you spawn, maybe you want to knock them into this wagon, or if you're on a different part of the map, maybe there's spikes against the wall, just things like that, just to look out for. I typically like to use this, um, oh, whoops, messed it up there. Um, I typically like to use the charge here when I'm assisting an ally, mainly because I can catch the guy and we can pin him in a corner and then I will just spam guard breaks or headbutts to keep him locked there while my ally punishes him. Or, you know, my allies are fighting near a crevice or you know wall spikes etc basically environmental death and i can hopefully knock them into it that way they don't just see me just flying in here oh, me flying in and doing the heads uh the head splitter leap like that now for other opponents like if you are going up against a assassin again who like to dodge and like to dance around they might also see the head splitter leap coming as well Typically, though, most people right off the bat are trying to size you up. They see a warlord, they go, okay, how is this guy going to come in on me? What's he going to do? Is he going to charge? Is he going to headbutt to initiate? Like, you know, they you kind of got to leave them guessing. So when you first start off the battle, let's see if this bot will stop following me here for a second. So quickly, you will lock on in. So you see that, you know, you kind of dance your weapons around as quick as you can. The guy's kind of going, what the heck is this guy doing? Is he having a seizure? And then boom, you pounce in. It will always attack on the up for the head splitter leap, as you see. As, so all they have to do is block up. Now, with that being said, with the head splitter leap, you can bust it out into a combo. So let's see if I get this here. Right there. So you crank out the head splitter leap, you hit X, boom, you're free range. There you go. You just meshed it together with your basic attack bread and butter combo right there. You know, this guy's got infinity health regen, so it doesn't really matter, but that would normally take your opponent down quite a bit of health, and then you can just back off and play defensive as the Warlord does best, you know? You want to try to start to counter, things like that. Um, but to sum things up for this video, I just, sorry if I took this one a little bit longer than the other ones, but I just want to say you can initiate, the, initiate combat by A, charging in. However, like I said before, this is mostly used when your opponent's not expecting it, and as it is rather easy to dodge. The next one is the head splitter leap combo. You're going to want to initiate on this if you know that it will go off. Uh, things like that, right? Like you can just, I mean, you can really mesh it into a guard break if you want. But the head splitter leap is more, do I, do, will this go off? Because if they do parry it, it does kind of set you back a little bit. But, I mean, hey, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to try. I always open up the head splitter combo. So I come in, 
do the head splitter, hit them with the headbutt because then they're staggered and then you get a free stab and boom. Right there, instant link together with your basic attacks and you have chunked your opponent down to quite a bit of health. And like I said before, just play defensively. Um, as for the other two options that I didn't really go over, which is just walking up to your opponent casually, maybe maybe closing the gap with a headbutt to surprise them or waiting for the, them to come to you, I don't really recommend. Uh, unless you are facing like a rep 30 Orochi or somebody who is like a godlike person, right? Um, I just wouldn't really recommend that as a warlord. You just want to strike first and then play defensive because it gets your opponent kind of in a in a work or not a work. Um, kind of in a, in a situation where they feel that they now have to make the moves and you just want to slow the pace down to your pace. So after you open up nice and quick, your opponent will probably want to come at you quick, just as quick as you went at them, and that's where you can just slow it down to your pace. You control the pace of the combat, therefore you can make the trades that you want and hopefully win the battle. Anyways guys, thanks for tuning in to this video of School for Warlords. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know what you thought down in the comments down below. Don't forget to like that video and subscribe to join the party. Thanks guys.